Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. It's a little bit of a late video, but there's a bunch of stuff I had to do. In this video, I'm testing out different craft files and upgrading them, and I'm doing some testing. Just basically going through the craft file list and deleting what's no longer needed and recategorizing many of the different craft files under different names so that it's more orderly when I load a craft file. The way the loading file thing works is in alphabetical order. So for all the SSTOs, I'll put SSTO slash, and then if it's a folding type SSTO, and then I'll put fold. If it's a fighting type, if it's a carrier, if it's a passenger type, I'll put those prefixes in first. And then I'll put the name of the class of the craft, as well as whether or not it's a first or second gen of the, of the actual craft. In other words, you know, like Mark 1, Mark 2. It's just easier to put down first gen, second gen, third gen. Gen, of course, meaning generation. A lot of the files I knew I didn't need anymore because I probably wasn't going to mess with it. Like the one where I attach a land anchor on the side of a cliff in order to make a cliff base. I'm probably not going to mess with that anymore. So I deleted some of the craft files and things of this nature. At the very end, the big boy SSTO, it barely gets 36 tons into, into orbit. And in some cases, if you don't do it right, it won't get any tons into orbit at all. Well, you know, not any, but it won't get the full 36. Now, of course, this has to do a lot with drag. So my in, in my attempts to test out a small 36 ton payload SSTO, I was looking for an SSTO that could create the smallest amount of drag. And surprisingly, I found out that things like the space shuttle cockpit, as well as the ramp and large cargo bay, creates a crap ton of drag if the vehicle isn't exactly pointed at the angle of attack. If it's up a little bit, if the nose is up a little bit compared to the, where the angle of attack is, then it's going to create an enormous amount of drag. In my attempt to try to correct this, I wanted to build it so that the nose was completely pointed at the angle of attack the entire time, but the wings were situated in order to create as the maximum amount of lift. So I took the wings and actually tilted them up a little bit. And my first trials, it worked. The drag was significantly cut down, but when I tried it a second and third time, for some reason the craft would not stay on the angle of attack. So I'm thinking that whatever is going on with the calculations of the game, it's iffy. Sometimes it works right, sometimes it doesn't. At that point, I was already like four or five hours in. I said, screw it. If I'm going to get dragged, then I'm going to get dragged. The best thing I can do is just make sure I have enough fuel to counteract that. So, in my attempts to upgrade the big boy SSTO, and with the lessons that I learned from messing around with the other SSTO that I promptly deleted after testing, I managed to make a less draggy big boy SSTO that can bring up 36 tons into orbit reliably and every single time. Now, I've heard a lot of people ask me to download an RCS mod that tells you exactly where to put the RCS and stuff of this nature. I might download that mod only because I've heard that it can give you dry weight compared to uh, full weight calculations right off the bat and show you what happens if all your tanks are drained compared to all your tanks being full, which is a very nice feature to hit one button and get all that. But as place, as for placing the RCS, I've been playing this game for, gosh damn it, since it came out, right? 0 0.7. And I've been playing around with RCS for a very long time. It almost comes natural for me to know where to put them. Now, sometimes, yeah, 
Sometimes I, I can get it to where it's a little wobbly, a little off. But the fun is finding a good balance between that and trying to figure out what's wrong and going through and fixing everything. That's the fun of building your own craft files instead of having a mod build it for you, right? So for the RCS helper mod or whatever it's called, I would probably only use it for the fuel thing. Because more than likely, if I looked at where it's asking you to put the RCS ports, I would probably laugh at it and ignore it just like I do with MechJub when it comes to flying. MechJub is horrible for me personally when it comes to flying a rocket because I know how to do it a thousand times better by playing this game for so long. But anyway, that's just a real quick wrap up of, you know, me just going through the entire craft well actually no i got plenty of more craft files i gotta go through and update and whatnot but just wanted to make a video real quick and show you guys what i'm up to nothing big right now still saving up for uh well i'm actually i have to go through all the duna stuff to make sure that works for the stream on saturday but yeah all right everyone take care i'll see you in the next video be safe out there and bye for now Bye bye